Hi, I'm Claire Johnston. Welcome to another Honest Review. And if you are one of these people who find yourself easily sucked in by the ads that show up on social media promising miraculous cosmetic results, then don't worry, you are not alone. In fact, it is highly likely I'm an even bigger sucker than you are. And that's one of the reasons that I started this channel was to try and work out um, what was value for money and what wasn't. So I was particularly active um, over lockdown, I have to say, when I couldn't get out uh, to the shops as much. And I made a couple of really random purchases based on ads I saw on social media. And this is one of them. Now, I don't know if any of you can tell what this is yet, but it's called a face bra. This is marketed as an inexpensive way to contour your jawline by burning fat underneath it. And um, you wear it around the face. And the website says that it will contour your skin by tightening your facial muscles through frequent use and delivering long term results. I saw some of their before and after pictures. I had a click through. It cost about 20 US dollars, that's 15 pounds. And I thought, well, at that money, what have I got to lose? So I ordered it up and it arrived about three weeks later. There's no need for any fanfare around the packaging because uh, this is how it arrived. So here's my face mask, which has arrived. I had to go back outside to the bin to check, double check the packaging because, um, well, the packaging, as you can see, is limited. The outside, so it arrived in a, a, a gray bag of the outer packaging, and then this is it. And I'm looking and there's like no instructions or anything with it. It just is as, as it is. So as that clip shows, there were no instructions um, that came with the face bra. So I had a look on the website and there are a few pictures there. It is a little bit confusing because the products don't look the same in all the pictures. So you kind of have to work out for yourself how to put it on. I'm still not sure if I've got it exactly right, to be honest, but this is the way that made most sense to me. So you have, you know, it's more or less elasticated, stretchy fabric, quite thick. Um, and you have two Velcro bits either side. And the idea is that you stretch it over your head so it feels tight. And um, there are little gaps here for your ears to kind of secure it. Um, now, if you have a look on the website, I mean, in one picture, somebody's kind of got it like this. Other people are wearing it differently. So I really don't know. You can feel it pretty quickly. You know, it feels quite tight around the jawline. Um, <laughs> it's not my most attractive look, okay? But um, that that's that's what you're stuck with. And you are supposed to wear this for 40 minutes three to four times a week um, to get uh, a result. But, um, you know, the, the marketing does say that first time you wear it, after 40 minutes, you should see a centimeter off your chin. So before I start this in earnest, let's just take a side profile here. Those of you who uh, watch my channel regularly will know that I had all therapy which is um, an ultrasound treatment that targets the deeper layers of your skin. I had that in um, November 2019. It did a great job in lifting um, the deeper layers uh, under the skin to give me a sort of overall tightening effect. So I don't have as much as I did, but I mean, there is enough for the face bra to work with there. So, you know, that's me sort of in a more natural pose. That's it and I'll let you see what I look like 40 minutes after. Yeah, by using the face bra for 40 minutes, three to four times a week, I'm reading from the website here, you'll start noticing chin and face fat reduction. Could do with it right there. Um, with every use by boosting your lymphatic system and releasing toxins and stored sodium through sweat. Well, you definitely feel the, the sweat when you when you um, wear it, you take it off, you can 
feel the moisture under your chin. The face bra will also perform skin tightening through frequent use, restoring loose and sagging skin by reshaping the facial contour and delivering long-term firming results. So I'm going to wear this for 40 minutes now and report back. I look like a chipmunk. Um, one of the slight issues I have with this, apart from making me look ridiculous, is that um, depending on how I wear it, it sort of pushes other parts of the face forward. So I'm thinking, well, if this decreases my problem here, would it increase it if I'm wearing it often here or here, you know, squishing your face? So, you know, I wear it so that I can sort of try and pull back um, my face as much as possible. So I'm not causing wrinkling elsewhere. But let's start the clock on 40 minutes. <laughs> So a little update from me at 20 minutes in, I'm about halfway there, and the same thing happens every time. So it, it, it's tight around here. It's not really uncomfortable, but um, it, it's certainly a very firm hold on the chin. So it feels like, you know, it's doing something there. Um, but I always have to keep um, pulling this back because otherwise you can see it sort of sinks forward on the head and starts then pressing the forehead down and causing lining along the forehead, which is not what I want at all. So I have to keep pulling it back on the to the back of my head. Um, and that does give me a little bit of a headache, I have to say. It's not hugely comfortable, but it's not bad. So happily, that's my 40 minutes up. Um, but before I take this off, I just want to show you something, which is the reason why I am not going to continue to use this face bra long term. Um, I mean, I mentioned before about it squishing your face, but um, what I've noticed as the time has worn on, um, that these creases have, it has created quite deep creases in my chin, which is not good. And also it's harder to see, but I mean, the lines on my forehead too. So everything's kind of getting squished in a bit, which I wouldn't want to be doing four times a week for an hour at a time. Um, for the sake of getting a lift on the chin. Um, so I did try and just sort of pull this back a bit, but it's still creasing no matter what I do. Um, so that's that's kind of put me off, I have to say. How it feels, it's just a little bit tight. It's a little bit uncomfortable around the ears. It gets a little bit burny on the top of the head after about 40 minutes, but, you know, not terrible. I could stick with it if it wasn't for the, the crushing of the face, which at my stage in the game, 47, I'm not signing up to. So um, it's coming off now, the big reveal. You can feel the moisture as it comes away. Right, there we are. Um, I mean, it's not a dramatic, like, you know, super lift. Is there maybe something there? Let me turn to the side. And then the chin up as before and chin down. And we'll just do a little comparison side by side for you to see as well. Yeah, so from my perspective, the pulling of the face was off-putting for me. It's one of these things that maybe you might do for a little night out or something. I thought that might be quite a good use for it. But my bigger issue is that it's not clear from what I can see on the website, and I'll include a, a link to it, uh, to the face bra sites so that you can have a look for yourself. I couldn't see any clear instruction around how long you were going to have to keep doing this three to four times a week to get the ultimate result. There is a major, can you be bothered factor in it? You know, you, you keep up a few times and then the next week you sort of forget about it as the reality. When I first got it, my intention was to wear it um, for, you know, 40 minutes a day or whatever. When I was doing my screen work, which, you know, I'm a journalist, I'm typing all day, we're working from home at the moment. So the head is down a lot as I'm looking at the laptop. And I thought that would be quite good for um, keeping the chin up. But as I say, the crushing and the rest of the face has just put me off completely and I'm not going to stick with it. Um, it is low cost enough um, that you can give it a go yourself. 
Uh, and if anybody has tried it and loves it, please let me know what you think, because um, I'm always interested in hearing about your own results. Um, there are lots of versions like on Amazon that are a lot cheaper, that look to do an almost identical thing. Um, so I will also link to them as well, in case you want to take a look. So that's the, um, the verdict from me. Um, I mentioned the all therapy before, uh, for any of you who have, um, uh, you know, a, a bigger problem with the jawline caused by aging, have a look at it. I'll include a link to it too. Um, see what you make of it because it really has helped me. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you did, there's lots more like it on the channel covering everything from um, beauty treatments and products, creams, lotions, household appliances. Um, there's advice from experts on, on healthy eating and a whole lot more. Do check it out if you get the chance. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.